Hello, my name is Alexander Sanchescu. I am a data analyst at Big Provider and Tableau Certified Associate. Today, I want to show you how you can do a cohort chart. It's a type of chart used to analyze cohorts. Uh, we will define a cohort here using Superstore. Uh, you can use cohort charts to analyze your cohorts, be it to find trends uh, or uh, get more valuable insights from that cohort that you're analyzing or compare it with other cohorts. Or you can even use it to uh, make uh, marketing decisions or uh, customer retention decisions. Okay, so let's say we want to look at our cohorts based on the the date at which they enrolled in our superstore. So when they made their first order. We'll do a calculated field. Let's call this first uh, purchase. And it will be a level of detail expression. It will be fixed at the customer level. And it will bring us the uh, minimum order date for a specific customer. It's a dimension, it's a date here. Now we need to find the second purchase. Let's look at how long it took for one customer or one cohort to repeat the purchase. So it's to see if uh, our marketing team is doing really good and our sales team are doing good at making the customer repeat their purchase and we're not losing potential customers. So let's call this second purchase. And uh, we'll define it as a fixed at the same level, customer ID. And it will be again a minimum, but here we want to do an if expression. So it'll be if um, my order date is larger than my first, sorry, my first purchase, then I want the order date, and that's it. So what this does is that if my order date is larger than my first purchase, bring the order date. That means that the order dates in my data set, which are equal to my first purchase or smaller, that's not the case, will be null. A min across multiple values and null means the smallest value, not the null. So here we're finding the second purchase. It's again a date. Now I want to, let's say, look at how many, uh, how many quarters it took to repeat the purchase. Let's say quarters to repeat purchase. And it will be a date diff function at the quarter level between first purchase and second purchase. It's a measure, so let's make it a dimension by dragging it to dimensions. And now I want to also create a number of customers calculation. And we count this thing by customer ID. Good. So, uh, let's do the triangle. So if we bring our first purchase onto rows, we get the year of the first purchase, and let's expand that to quarter. Now if we bring quarters to columns, we get the nice little triangle. Let's make it fit into our view. We have null, 0, 1, 2, 3, blah, blah, blah all the way to 15. What does null mean? That means that these guys didn't make a second purchase. So these are actually quite interesting to look at. Okay, let's see how many customers you have in each uh, cell. So let's bring number of customers onto color and show the mark labels. And we see, okay, there are not a lot who didn't make a repeat purchase, but most of them are here. So they are newly acquired customers. That means that maybe we've been slacking a bit at customer realization. Okay, so we see that most people repeat their purchase here. So let's say in one quarter time. How we can be sure of that, let's bring some totals into this analytics. So let's bring a column grand total and a row grand total. So we get here, so in, you see there are 180 customers who repeated the purchase in the first quarter. That's the highest number here. If it's easier for you to use percentages, then just change this to a quick table calc total and make it use the entire table. So you see 23% 20, almost made the repeat purchase in the first quarter. Now another interesting fact is that these guys, the guys in 2013, are 75% of our customers. So 
we haven't been really gaining new customers in the last years. So maybe we should ramp that up also. So this is one type of chart and one type of analysis, which is really useful for customer retention, customer organization, marketing strategies. Thank you for your time. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask us.